Well, hello and welcome to StarMade Compact Tutorial here with the Gmodisme Industries. Today we will be going through the scanner system and what you can use it for. Building a basic scanner is pretty easy. The scanner can be in any direction you want and you just spawn a computer and then you place out at least one module and you will have a working scanner. That will have the range as any scanner. However, what is different when you have more antennas is the reload time. And it's good to have a good scanner because you can only have one scanner per ship or entity. I guess you could, you know, dock some scanners if you're really desperate, but uh, let's not talk about that. Uh, to make a good scanner, you will need to have a long scanner that can be upward or downward, or why not to any, on, any of the sides, or why not just a hidden little thing that's hidden inside your ship, like the original scanner for this one, like this. However, we will not do this way. We will build a better scanner system than this ship regularly have. To make a good scanner, you will need to make it long compared to the longest axis of the ship. So you see, this is, you know, pretty long, maybe 35 blocks long. So then we will need to have our scanner about around that long to have an efficient one. So say we have a really long scanner and we just place it straight upward. Then we will have a decently fast loading scanner as this is much longer than, you know, the longest of the ship. However, to make your scanners immensely long will not make them super fast, they will just be decently fast anyways. But if you have a much shorter scanner than the lo longest axis of your ship, your scanner will reload pretty slowly. And using this scanner is the next part, because the uses of the scanner is actually very 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 useful. If you want to break an enemy's systems of uh, hiding, like radar jammers, because radar jammers are especially interesting to break. Now, we are radar jammed, but when we use our scanner, we will automatically, you know, stop that from working. We will stop our radar jammer from working when we run our scanner. We will also stop every enemy's radar jammer from working when we run the scanner. That means if you have lock on missiles, you will be able to lock them on when you activate your scanners, because then, you know, the radar jammer will be turned off. And you see the radar jammer needs a little time to cool down. And then, of course, they can activate them again. Why it's good to have a fast loading scanner, because then you can break their radar jammer again. So even if you have just one scanner block, the scanning range will be the same. However, if you have a really big scanner, you can go in here and you can actually see some details when you go into the scanning computer and details. And you can see that uh, there is some energy needed to scan actually. And uh, also there is uh, a power usage per second for charging the scanners. And we have also have this module blocks module needed. Um, I suppose that's the maximum you know, effect you can have. Uh, over that you will only get you know energy punishments. It's look like it's a charge needed per extra block over ratio. So it's for balancing things up a little bit. But anyways, you can see here now we have a pretty fast uh, charging scanner. And as I said, you can break your enemies uh, trying to hide away from you with your scanner, so you then can spot them and lock on with your missiles too, as the radar jammer will block other players from locking you on. Anyways, the using for scanner, we just ran the scanner a couple of times, so let's go into the navigation menu. Here we have the tab that's Scan History, where we have all the information you need. Here we have Scan Time, Time of Scanning. We have Scanned From, where we scanned from, basically. Uh, 
and we also have system ownership too and territory relation it's an unclaimed territory and we can also see the mining bonus of this place which can be really nice and as you might know that on the galaxy map things are hidden from you if you haven't gone through multiple systems then you understand everything in the whole system or if you run a scan but let's travel to a new system we will just uh, we will no we will just plot path to this place here a bit randomly and we will just jump and see what we get in for a time or uh, kind of trouble alright safely arrived we can look at the uh, navigation we see nothing and we can now try to run a scan. Scan data, data received. Um, okay, we can have scan history and we can see that the mining bonus seems to be the same. We have now scanned from a new sector, minus three instead. It's pretty much the same and we have no activity. If there were a cloaked entity uh, nearby, we will get uh, some warnings about that. Mm, that said, remember to equip your miners with a scanner so that you can spot the most profitable systems to mining or even build a prospector ship and then go and check and send your miners there later. Well, that's probably about that. I hope you have learned anything there is to know about the scanners. And now we did a little a new scan here. We go to scan history and you see we scanned with the smallest possible system, like one block. We still have the same range, if you don't believe me. There you have it. I hope you have found this tutorial useful and uh, keep tuned for future content. See you around. Jimonism signing out.